back to the garden behind the barn here at One Mini Ranch in Orland, California, our veggie garden. This is a little patch of ground, again about 300 square feet uh, that we've been watching. This is our fourth or fifth visit back here. It is August 2nd, 2008. Just thought I'd give you a quick tour. You can see, of course, our squash plants, which have been yielding very well. And over to our left, you'll see some tomatoes that I planted in lieu of the where the peas were and not very happy at all with this production. I know the reasons why. Uh, uh, the um, tomato plants were in very poor shape when I planted them and uh, we have a tremendous amount of shade and I over fertilized. Uh, that's my fault, not the plant's fault. Uh, right behind that are some pepper plants uh, down the line there. Uh, they've got a nice afternoon wilt on them. The water is coming. Uh, we'll be putting water on them about 6 o'clock this evening. And of course back there you'll see the corn. Last time we were here that corn was just about knee high and it's doing very well. And you can see in the back again our cucumbers. I want to talk about our cucumbers for just a minute. We've pulled off just about 45 cucumbers. Very nice long 18 inch long green cucumbers that our neighbors have enjoyed and we've enjoyed. Right down here in the middle is our patch of melons and we've got watermelon, honeydew, cantaloupe and crenshaws. And I just want to share with you that uh, we've harvested two of the icebox watermelon and they've been delicious. Again, just a few plants planted here. I think if those of you that go back into these, this series, you'll see in May, these plants were just popping out of the ground. And here we are, August, uh, August 2nd. Look down there to that Crenshaw. Can you pet catch that Crenshaw? I hope the light shows you. Boy, in another few weeks, that is going to be yellow and ready to pick and eat. And the Crenshaw melon, to me, is the king of all melons. And, of course, over here to our left are our green beans, which we've been harvesting on since, uh, since uh, June, the end of May, 1st of June, uh, actually the middle of May. And uh, we're getting, oh, two, three pounds a day. I come out every morning just about sunset and pick our beans. Now, a few of the bean plants down at the end, you'll see, are getting a little scabby. I'm going to go ahead and pull those, take them off the trellis, and put some fresh uh, seed in the ground uh, here in our Northern California area. I can get two crops of pole beans if I hurry up. Uh, we won't get our first frost till about the end of November. So, um, and of course, beans do like cool weather, and uh, right now we're sitting at 103 degrees today, so we do have some heat units that beans really don't care for. I want to appreciate you again for stopping by here at the One Mini Ranch and uh, coming back with us for a little tour of the garden behind the barn. A perfect example how a family can enjoy some health benefits of being outside, bending over, and just being close to nature, and actually pick enough food, food to enjoy at your table and share with your neighbors. And I want to talk about the sharing. There's a lot of food we do give away, but we also charge for it. As I mentioned in our Growing Tomatoes for Health and Wealth here on uh, YouTube, uh, I put a little card up in the Senior Center, uh, being a senior citizen myself, and it's about eight mile round trip to town, and I said, please call me on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I have to go to town to the post office. I will deliver you fresh vegetables. I've been doing that. They're usually four or five dollar purchases, but it's amazing how much fun it is to sit down and visit. Many of these people are single or, you know, deceased uh, widows and widowers, and they enjoy the company, and I enjoy providing them fresh, organically grown, whole food for a very reasonable price. Again, thanks a lot for stopping by the One Mini Ranch and the garden back behind the barn.